Live from the Jersey Shore to the world, get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Take the show wherever you go. Download the free Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. It is 608 March 21st, 33 degrees, heading up to 50. I have just been told that here at the Tom's River Town Square Media Towers, the snow has stopped. The snow has stopped. So if you're within a mile or two of uh, of Town Square Media, I could tell you for sure the snow has stopped. Everyone else I really can't speak to. But, uh, you know, don't worry so much about your shovels. Anyway, WOBM AM 1160 at 1310 News Talk Radio, streaming live on the Radio Pup app and at WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160. To join the conversation, and that conversation now turns to kind of something that makes sense in this weather, uh, the Elks. The Elks <laughs> and uh, their board president, Dennis DeMay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you this morning? Um, <clears throat> I'm awake, <clears throat> I think. Uh, well, you still have morning voice, though, so I don't know. We can't, we can't officially say you're awake just yet. So... Dennis, you and I had breakfast last week, uh, so so Dennis is um, very active in the uh, Greater Tom's River Chamber of Commerce and, and other organizations here in town, and he said, Jeremy, uh, I would like you to take you, I'd like to take you to breakfast, I paid by the way, I'd like to take you to breakfast and uh, discuss the Elks, because I don't think that you understand all of the things the Elks Club do here in uh, Tom's River in Ocean County. And so I was I was blown away by everything that the Elks Club's involved with. So let me start by saying, Dennis, how did you get involved with the Elks uh, locally? Well, most of us get involved with organizations usually by uh, an invitation from a friend or a business associate. Uh, I had been uh, at the Elks on a number of occasions. It can be a very social place. Um you don't really have to do anything in the beginning, but once you get in and start to see what goes on, you kind of want to get involved. And that was like thirty years ago. So, so you, you, so just to review, you got involved. You got involved because you thought you really didn't have to do anything. So you were like, yeah, "This sounds yeah. good." <laughs> there was one of those places like I could get into and not have to work again. You know. Now, now you've been in business locally for how long? Forty-two years. Okay. And uh, and and what do you do locally? We do investigations. Okay. Uh, from. Backgrounds on employees, on businesses, on all kinds of things. Okay, good. So, so when you go to the Elks Club and you see, do you like, in your brain, are you looking at people going, "I know what you did. I know what you did. I nah, know what you." No, you don't. Nah, you don't care about that. All right, good. Okay, so, so you got involved thirty years ago with the Tom's River Elks, and now you are the uh, board president. So, why don't you give us an example? My thought about the Elks Club was like, there's bingo. Yeah, we bingo every Wednesday night. Right, there's bingo. I know there's like a big, there's a big, there's a big hall of some kind. We right? have we have one of the few halls in Ocean County that can seat 300 people. Okay, so why don't you tell us really what the Elks Club's all about? Because I obviously have the wrong concept. Go ahead. Well, it's really pretty interesting. There's somebody that lives around the corner, six houses away from the building, who has grown up in this town, and a few weeks ago, and he's a local businessman. A few weeks ago, we were talking um, in his store about. The Elks, and he said, well, what does it do? And when I began to tell him what's going on, he said, I can't believe for all these years I've lived here and I don't know. Bottom line is the Elks takes care of special needs children. We take care of our veterans, and we take care of our community, and especially in times of need, whether you be a member or not. Uh, the Elks National Foundation is, is the largest provider of college scholarships in the country, second only to the United States government. Wow. And people that they just don't understand. We give scholarships to all different levels from the smartest, brightest kids to special needs kids. Um, they, 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 we just keep giving more. Uh, in, locally, we bought the last four canine dogs for our police department. Um, we give we sponsor two uh, challenge baseball leagues. We actually have children who play in, in you know, how big our little leagues are in Tom's River in our area. Right. In Ma- Manchester and Tom's River, we have a sponsorship of special needs kids that play baseball Every week, some of them are on wheelchairs, some of them are in walkers, some have canes, uh, some have other problems. They all have coaches. They get out and have a ball. They just want to be like the rest of us. So, okay, wait a second. You do all that stuff. 
I how many people are how many people are currently members at the Elks? Well, I'm proud to tell you we have about uh, f- almost 1,200. And the last year we increased our membership by over 140. Uh, much younger people, which is a really good thing to see in this, these times. And most of the places, uh, all kinds of organizations are, are hurting for membership due to the age age factors and, and uh, economy issues. Um, and people just uh, are not as much to get involved as they used to be. Right. So it's hard to educate people that they can do something without killing yourself. Okay. So uh, 140 folks, 140 new members in the last year. That's uh, that's fantastic. Uh, I, I'm clearly that's fantastic. What is the what's the what is the pitch uh, to someone who is uh, who's thinking of joining? I mean, what what's what you know? We used to say in retail, what's the whiff them, right? What's in it for me, right? So what what's in it for me for joining the Elks, Dennis? Tell me. Well, I think a lot of people join the Elks for fun. It's a very social uh, organization, uh, and that's what a lot of people think when they get in. I have a place to go. I have they have lunches, they have dinners, they have a bar. I mean, we have a Did 20- you say there's a bar? There's a bar. Dennis? There's okay. multiple bars. Sorry, let me just write that down. Sorry. Got it. Okay, got it. Keep Continue. <laughs> we have a 29,000 square foot building that is up and operating every day. There's a paid staff that keeps the place whistle clean. You know, we have a kitchen uh, that's one of the largest available in, in, in the county. Um, not, not many people can do more. As I said earlier, we can seat over 300 people, so uh, we can't compete with the uh, businesses per se because we're nonprofit. Or not for profit, right? But but um, we do have weddings and all kinds of events there. Um, a lot of other service organizations use our facility because we we're more affordable and amenable to them from from the rotaries to to the uh, the animal shelters. Okay, so 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 okay. How many nights if I want to get dinner at the Elks? How many nights are you open there? For dinner, yeah. usually Friday nights. Okay. Uh, lunch seven days a week. L- so lunch is always open. Right. So if I go to lunch at the Elks, right, and uh, how many people would I, like, Like, are there usually people there for lunch every day? Of course. Really? Yeah. Well, listen, I asked that. <laughs> listen, okay, so I, I, I'm, there. there's an organization that I'm a member of locally uh, that there are times you can go for lunch at this particular organization, and you may be the only one there having lunch, and so... That doesn't make you feel the love of necessarily being part of a, you know, you, when you join something, you want to kind of feel some degree of inclusion, right? And if I'm the only one there, I, you know, that's, and I don't, th- I don't necessarily think it's me, although others would tell you maybe otherwise, but, but so, so, so we you have a pretty good lunch crowd. Yeah. It, it's like any other place. There are days you walk in and the bar is too deep and the tables are full. There are days you walk in and there might be eight people there. Okay. Um, but you'll never walk in there and have nobody. But you know, going back to why, why would I want why would I want to join the Elks? Uh, I said it's a social place. Right. Um, every Friday night we have dinner, so it's every other week is what we call a fun Friday night. Usually a group of people, um, probably from one of our committees, which is another issue, um, they run a dinner. So they make homemade food. It could be uh, adult grilled cheese. It could be meatloaf. It could be a lasagna. All people that know what they're doing. Some right. of the best food you'll ever get for eight, ten, twelve bucks. Okay. So. You hit on a couple important things there. Number one, when we come back, we're going to talk about committees, right? Because that's that's really, I guess, where the rubber meets the road. But now, two quick questions. Number one, fun Fridays is every other Friday. Right. Does that mean that on the off Friday, it's not as much fun to have dinner at the Elks on a Friday? Is that what you're saying? No. We, we okay. Have... Well, think about that. I just want you to think about that because that implies to me that there's fun Friday and not so fun Friday. And I want to be there on fun Friday, number one. Number two, adult grilled cheese. A lot of things uh, go through my mind. We're going to find out what's in adult grilled cheese when we come back with Dennis DeMay from the Elks. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin and be right back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin wherever you go. Download the Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Uh, 622, 33 degrees. It stopped snowing here. I can't talk about what it's doing at your house, but right here, it's beautiful. I- I'm thinking of, you know, thinking of heading to the beach after this uh, this talk here with Dennis DeMay from uh, the Elks, president of the board. So, Dennis, uh, we have some, uh, some, some loose ends to tie up here, some loose ends to tie up. Number one. Uh, adult grilled cheese. Talk to me. <laughs> a few years ago, we were up in uh, New Hope, Pennsylvania, walking about, and we went by a, a restaurant that had a big sign, adult grilled cheese. Yeah. Got my interest. I like to cook. We went inside and had one of the greatest meals we ever had. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
a dog grilled cheese is basically like this. We had four kinds of bread. White, wheat, rye, sourdough. Right. Um, you pick your bread. We had five kinds of cheese. Pick your cheese. Then we had caramelized onions, sautéed mushrooms, everything from ham to pork roll to tomatoes to uh, uh, you name it. Mozzarella cheese, uh, uh, roasted red peppers. You build your sandwich. Yeah. Okay. So, Dennis, listen. I don't mean to split hairs here because God knows I can't afford that. But, <laughs> but Dennis, when you put ham in an adult grilled cheese, it now is no longer a grilled cheese sandwich. Now it's a ham and cheese. No, it's. I a mean, grilled- this is a misnomer. That you're you're selling people adult grilled cheese, but you're giving them ham and cheese. We give them what they want, and we uh, also gave them tomato soup. I don't. I. I don't know, Dennis. I, I, you know, we're gonna have to agree to disagree on this one because I, I have a whole different feeling for adult grilled cheese. Uh, I think it's, I think it's just a convenient way to, you know, show off a comfort food. But really, you're making something completely different. Next, you're gonna tell me there's petite, you know, tomato sauce and you put some pepperoni on it, and that's adult grilled cheese. That's not. That's pizza. All right. Let me, let me talk to you now about the committees here. Um, so you mentioned committees at the Elks. I'm, I'm interested because. You know, I know the committees that we have at the Chamber of Commerce. I know the committees we have at the other nonprofits I'm with. But I'm sensing that there's a different a different vibe here. So can you give me like a give me give me a taste of some of the committees? Okay, one of our biggest committees. Uh, that's what the Elks really takes care of. Well, two of the big ones are special needs children and veterans. Special needs children is pretty close to all of our hearts. So we take care of uh, and support children that have everything from autism to Down syndrome to physical disabilities, um, and we raise money for them. We have dances for them. We have the state of New Jersey, State Elks, owns um, a place called Camp Moore, which is up in the Ramapo Mountains. It's a respite place that opens for about six months a year. We sponsor kids to go up there. Um, if your child has autism and they go to this camp, they go there for a week. We, They're not by themselves. They're with uh, uh, other children of the same uh, issues. Uh, and all mixed together. Everyone has a, a sponsor with them, a, somebody that, that understands right. to work with them. They have a ball. They have everything from swimming pools to activities, depending upon what their level is. Uh, it gives them a, a great week, and it gives the family a week. Um, we, you know, yeah. we, we go through life every day, and we hear about somebody that has a, a special needs child, and we may see them or be exposed, but we don't realize that they're with that child seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You don't really get a break from that. They don't complain, but we believe that they deserve a little bit of a break, and this works pretty good for Absolutely. everybody. Absolutely. But do you have something that? Uh, well, uh, I, I was gonna I was gonna ask if you have something that maybe you could uh, give my wife a break for a week, you know, so that she could because she has to live with me, and I feel badly for her on that in that way. But um, send, send her to Marco Island for yeah, a week. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, so that's great that you guys are doing <clears throat> something for the community there. So. And what do you do for the what do you do for for the veterans? We have a, uh, obviously a tremendous, the largest veterans population in the country here in Ocean County. So we have a very large veterans committee. Uh, those people do all kinds of work. They do everything from visiting uh, our veterans who are in nursing homes to veterans who are what we might call shut-ins in their own home. Um, they take them on fishing trips. They take them to lunches. They um, give them counseling. They per- make sure that they're aware of all the benefits that they do have. Uh, and reach out for the people as often as they can. Um, it's it's a long, long day, but they, they do it all the time. Okay. That's great. So when we come back, Dennis, I want to talk about the sports that uh, that the Elks are involved in because these are all sports that I feel like I could, with a little bit of practice, excel in. I feel like they would take advantage of my particular athletic abilities – Right, I feel like uh, I feel like that they would really work the muscle groups that I have developed over the past 42 years. Uh, we're here, Dennis DeMay, president of the board, Elks Club, Tom's River. Uh, so much to learn about with the Elks. So much you didn't know. Stay tuned. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Pay attention to the news. Pay attention to everything else we're going to tell you about over the next five minutes. Be right back. Coming up next, the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square New Jersey News Network and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Tom's River, it's time to get up 
Get out. Do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Be a part of the show. 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. We are here with the president of the board of the Elks of Tom's River. And, you know, Dennis, we were talking in the break. I didn't realize how many Elks clubs there were. How how many Elks clubs are there? There's over 100 lodges in the state of New Jersey. In the state of New Jersey? Yeah. Wow. In, in our area, you have uh, Tom's River, Lacey, Brick, Jackson, Lakewood, Matahawken. Um, in our district, it includes those, plus Asbury Park, uh, what they call Asbury Wall, and, and uh, Holm, uh, Howell. Um, big big organization. They do an awful lot together all over the place. And and the number of members you have, how does that rate in uh, in the overall hierarchy? I mean, are you a large uh, a large Elks club here or? Yeah, we're we're one of the larger ones. Okay. <clears throat> we're probably the big best thing that they brag about is we're one of the ones that keeps growing. Um, years ago, I think we had like fifteen hundred. Then we went down about eight hundred. And now we're coming back up again. Right. And then they were like, Dennis, we need you to be the president of the board so you can fix this for us. And you came in there on your on your white horse and you got it done, right? Uh, not exactly. Uh, well, listen, I'm trying to I'm trying to give you props here, Dennis. Yeah, Come yeah. on, you're on the radio, man, for God's sake. Okay. All I'm right. Gonna... Let's talk about uh I, I I I we were talking about some of the sports leagues you have going on. And as I mentioned, these are sports that I think um I really think are more up my alley. Uh because uh, you know, with my athletic prowess, I feel like I could dominate. Uh, so you have a horseshoes league, right? You have a horseshoe league. You have a dart, a darts league. Dart league. Uh, the the world famous shuffleboard league. Yep. Right. Uh, I love shuffleboard. You don't do bocce though, huh? No, actually, we built a bocce ball courts a few years ago. Yeah. And I went and belonged. I, I joined the National yeah. Bocce Ball Association. But it just didn't take off. Really? Yeah. The NBBA? Yeah, I did. Wow, good for you. <laughs> I got to patch it off. Is that on ESPN 8, the Ocho? I don't All right. know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and then, of course, of course, we would be remiss if we didn't mention Wednesday bingo at Wednesday, the Elks. Yeah, bingo's a big night. Now, Dennis, I was sharing with you that I've I've actually called bingo in the past uh, when, I was, uh, when I was a younger man at my synagogue in East Brunswick. And... Uh, there is nothing more stressful than being a bingo caller with hardcore bingo players. Is that is that true? Yeah, bingo people. Uh, they're they're a pretty diehard group. Yeah, I think I would tell you my wife the first time she went to our bingo, uh, her and her sister in law sat down and they went to get something to eat. They came back and all of their stuff was thrown on the floor. Ugh. you're in my seat. Get it's, out. It's a very it's a it's a very it's a very tough group. And God forbid you call the wrong number. God forbid you have the wrong pace. Either you're going too fast or too slow. It's very tricky. It's I'm telling you, I would sweat profusely. I was I was very uncomfortable. Um, but I understand that the Elks is not like that. I think it's a whole. You know, it's it, this is a kinder, gentler Elks club. Oh yeah, yeah. right, right. Well, as long as you don't get in their seat, everybody's pretty friendly. That's right. That's right. Uh, so Dennis, I, what are we missing? Anything? I mean, we we've we've covered we really, really kind of run the gamut here, huh? Yeah, you know, if you if you went through the list of committees very quickly, besides special needs and veterans, you yep. have an Americanism committee, uh, which is stands for you know what, what it says, the Drug Awareness Committee that we you know get involved with the kids in, in schools and whatever. We have a, a Government Relations Committee, Public Relations, which is an important thing. Uh, then we have youth activities. Uh, every year we sponsor a we have a hoop shoot, which is ba- basketball, just simply shooting the hoops. Uh, kids that win that in, in the in the local area then go to the district. If they win that, they go to the state. If they win that, they go to the national. Wow. Two years ago, we had a, we also have a soccer shoot. One of our little boys from Beechwood two years ago won the entire district and went on to Maryland to win the whole thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'll tell you what, the Elks Club sounds like a lot of fun. I I was like I said, I was shocked uh, when we had breakfast. You you actually called me about a month and a half ago and you said, Jeremy, I want to share some knowledge with you, something you did not know. It's going to really surprise you. And I was like, I didn't know what that could be. I, <laughs> I I went home that night and I said to my wife, I don't know what this could be. This is exciting. Dennis is going to share something with me. And then you came fully armed with uh, with with Elks propaganda. And uh, and I am I, I'm you know, I'm smelling what you're stepping in, Dennis. It sounds like a lot Ooh. of fun over there at the Elks. Now, Dennis, we have to put you on the spot for a second, because what we ask all of our guests, we give you a magic wand, Dennis. A magic wand, the magic pixie dust, the you can shake your nose, you can make an impact, make a change, do something special in the world just by waving your hands. What is it that you would do, Dennis? I would be able to provide a respite for all the families and children. 
All families and all children. Well, all, but specifically for the special needs. Program. Okay. You would prefer, and for anyone, for any special needs children and families that needed it, you would be there for them. Absolutely. Well, that's uh, that, and that seems kind of like the uh, like the cause of the Elks. Uh, see how you tied it all together there. That's it. That was really good. You should you could do this professionally, Dennis. I, I think you're a natural. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dennis. Where can folks learn more about the Elks of Tom's River? Uh, easily online. They just go to Tom's River Elks dot uh, org and uh, look them up on Google, and you'll find it. And they have. Uh, their entire monthly uh, bulletins out. It tells you that every committee, everything that they do. It's really a, a fully packed schedule. Okay, and uh, so that's tomsriverelks.com, uh, and you, you'll know you're in the right place because it says uh, 1875, and there's a big elk in the middle of the page. You really, you, you really can't miss it. And Dennis, anyone that wants to play bingo, they could do that, right? They don't have to be an elk member, right? No, they can go, but Wednesday nights is wide open. Uh, Wednesday night, Wednesday night at the Elks Club over on Washington Street. Uh, you know what? We've learned a lot. Uh, you have, you've shared with us, you've taught us that adult grilled cheese <laughs> is, uh, you know, it's kind of a misnomer because it could, could be ham and cheese, could be pepperoni and cheese, could be a lot of different things. Uh, you shared with us, uh, the committees and the, the, uh, the, the mission of the Elks Club of Tom's River. Uh, really, I am, uh, I, I think that you have edified the audience in a big way. And I thank you for your time this morning, uh, Dennis DeMay. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Dennis DeMay, president of the board of the Elks of Tom's River, 1,200 strong and growing, just like Flintstone kids. Be right back after this.